Howling Cow brand ice cream starts out here. One person, alone, in the middle of the night. Milk is the basic ingredient in ice cream. Part of Jeff's job is to pick up raw milk at the farm and deliver it to the processing plant. From this point, Jeff and the entire production team are on a deadline. The milk must be processed as quickly as possible. If there are delays, it could mean dumping the milk. Jeff draws milk samples for testing at the plant. Throughout the production process, Howling Cow will continuously monitor and log temperature and bacteria data along with other important food safety measurements. While the raw milk is pumped into the plant, Jeff loads cartons of processed milk into a truck. He'll spend the remainder of his 10-hour shift making deliveries. It takes about 90 minutes to start the plant. Tyler readies the milk processing system. Steven prepares the complex packaging equipment. Today, the team will process the mix that is used to make ice cream, along with packaging skim, low-fat, whole, and chocolate milk. Tyler uses controls to direct an intricate set of pumps and valves that move the raw milk through the processing equipment. Multiple tanks are now simultaneously filling with different milk products. Tyler must watch the level in each tank so he gets the right quantity for each batch. The packaging equipment is complex. With hundreds of moving parts, many dependent on precise amounts of air pressure, the equipment is vulnerable to malfunctions. A problem here could stop processing. The temperature of the milk is carefully monitored and recorded on a control chart. A deviation in temperature could compromise the milk. Tyler logs each step in the process. Tyler tests the fat content of the milk to ensure the right amount of fat is in each variety. Bernard has arrived. He'll ensure the processing equipment is cleaned and sanitized. This is critical. A mistake here could cause the milk to become contaminated. A kind of juggling act is now underway at the plant. Bernard cannot begin cleaning until Tyler empties the raw milk holding tank. Each person's job is dependent on another person's job. There are many food safety features throughout the plant. For example, the white foam on the floor is a sanitizer meant to prevent microorganisms from entering the plant on the bottom of shoes. Part of the management team gathers for a quick meeting. Amongst other concerns, the ice cream pint containers needed for the next day have been lost by the logistics company. Carl must get the containers to the plant soon or tomorrow's processing run will be canceled. Randy is the bridge between management and the processing team. He's responsible for ensuring orders are filled as well as helping management understand what's happening on the processing floor. Randy is the first to be notified if processing timelines, quality, or product safety are compromised. With Randy watching the packaging equipment, Steven assists Tyler. The team knows how long each step should take. They use stopwatches to indicate product changeovers and to keep the production moving as efficiently and accurately as possible. Yeah. 
the processing day has taken a turn. Mixing has begun. Stephen is making chocolate milk. He pours solid ingredients into a powder induction system that feeds into a tank of low-fat milk. As milk processing winds down, the team turns to cleaning. The task is enormous. Every surface, inside and out, must be washed and sanitized. Part-time student workers have arrived to help. A problem has developed. Gary is called to the floor for advice. With more food processing experience than anyone on the team, he's often consulted when difficult problems arise. A pinhole has developed in one of the tubes. The leaking tube will be removed and sent off for repair. A temporary tube is quickly found and installed. Processing is over, but the job is only half complete. The team will spend the rest of the day cleaning, repairing, and performing maintenance on the equipment. Randy reviews the pasteurization temperatures for the day's production. By signing off on these logs, Randy is certifying that all critical control points were correctly followed. State and federal inspectors will have access to these logs whenever needed. Carl has found the missing containers and arranges for the delivery. The plant will need to be ready early the next day for ice cream production. They call it freezing ice cream. The ice cream mix, made the day before, is pumped to a tank where flavors are added. Campfire Delight is the first ice cream to be made. A graham cracker base flavor with marshmallow swirl and chocolate chunks. The Campfire Delight is pumped into three gallon containers and placed in a walk-in freezer. Chocolate Chocolate Chip is the next ice cream to be made. Problems have developed. Some containers are missing the required lot number that is supposed to be automatically stamped by the packaging equipment. Tyler is placed on the line to hand stamp lot numbers on containers. The problem will have to be fixed after production. Steven notices the pint containers are getting slightly overfilled. With the production clock ticking, Randy and Steven must quickly analyze the problem. A stoppage would cause a ripple effect that would be felt well into the afternoon's cleaning cycle. Randy must make the fix while the machinery is running. Carl is made aware of both problems, and a plan for resolving them is developed. Like on milk processing day, the team will spend the remainder of this day cleaning, sanitizing, and performing maintenance and repairs. Everyone is now focused on preparing the plant for the next production day.
early the next morning, the raw milk delivery truck works its way down a winding, muddy farm road. It's time, once again, to start making ice cream. <laughs>